So just about ready for the first semi-final in the elite men's competition. Ed Howley dropping out for the Wyvern Harlequins. They're up against the Shredded Ducks. Your referee's Alid Lidington. This is shredded ducks in the yellow and blue hoops. A blatant high tackle there, immediately pulled up uh, rightly by referee Alid Lidington. And uh, in fact, uh, the Wyvern Harlequins perhaps lucky to escape with just a penalty and not a yellow card. The yellow and blue hoops, the shredded ducks, and the bright luminous yellow with the fancy sleeves are the Wyvern Harlequins. Shredded Ducks come up with it from the line out. Big, big tackle there from number 10, Kyle Evans, for the uh, Wyvern Harlequins. Showing he's not just a, a finisher. The man who actually won the Welsh Premiership Player of the Season award. Scored 19 tries for Merthyr, his club at home. But it's all at the moment, shredded ducks. They've got the possession, recycling it well, showing they mean business. Almost through the last line of defense, shredded ducks, but uh, held up. And I don't think. Uh, the Wyvern Harlequins are going to allow that ball to be grounded and therefore it's a scrum down with their put in. Good uh, work in the tackle area, holding the man up so that he couldn't actually ground the ball and turn it into a full tackle. Big push from Shredded Ducks, but safely won by the Wyvern Harlequins. Good work again by uh, Kyle Evans, working hard to stay in field. Penalty awarded, quickly taken. Justin James, that was, zipping it away. Good work over the ball. Wriggles out of the tackle. Attempt turnover, and in fact, it worked in the end. Cruising away. Ed Howley going in under the posts. First score to the Wyvern Harlequins. They've uh, soaked up a bit of pressure, but uh, eventually broke free. And the scorer, Ed Howley. Conversion's good as well, so 7-0 to the Wyvern Harlequins.
We scrum down two shredded ducks. Uh, I've just been Chris Morgan trying to get in there and disrupt, but uh, didn't manage to pull off the turnover. I've just been joined by Floris. It's a clean scrum. Good kick through. Good pace back inside. Chasing it now is uh, Jacob Flynn for the Quins. They get back in numbers to defend it. Joe Margaret's doing pretty well coming away with it down the far side those Kyle Evans it's lost it in the tackle turnover effected by the shredded ducks good tackle by Hossein Davis and uh, high one he says well over the top they said they were going to be very, very strict on high tackles and uh, Alid Liddington, true to his word. Just trying to burst straight through, but uh, brought down by Day Evans. Now, can they find the hole? Slips out of one tackle. The drive is on. Surely over. Yes, he's over. First try now to the Shredded Ducks. Chance to level things up. 7-5 at the moment, the conversion to come. Doesn't manage to even get it off the ground, so uh, Wyvern Harlequin stay in the lead. But uh, first try there, two shredded ducks, it's 7 5. Coming up towards the end of the first period. Good drop out. Yeah, beautifully taken. They got the reward for it. A clean take. And uh, again, shredded ducks in possession on the attack. Nicely recycled. Quickly recycled this time. A chance to get it wide. Try and go back inside, and uh, the referee saying the pass was just forward. Half time, so the lead with the Wyvern Harlequins, 7 5. I've just been joined by Floris from Renegade Rugby. Well, you just had your last game of this tournament. Uh, what do you make of the weekend and how have you enjoyed the uh, Ibiza 10s 2018? All, all I remember 
is the rugby. For the rest, we've just been drinking, so that, that's where we are now, losing hard, but drinking. Have you, you enjoyed your time on the pitch? It's been quite competitive, and you guys have enjoyed come the off time, the worst. I enjoyed the time on the pitch. Today was a little, little rough. Obviously scratched up from the field a little bit, but it's good. It's, good. it's nice, enjoyable. So tell us a little bit about Renegade Rugby. How did you guys all get together? You're from all over the place, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. So we met, a few of us met. So Thomas Silverback, we call him Mr. Silverback. He started the team when we met in, um, in Sweden. We played in Stockholm Tents last year. And then we decided to just give people from different teams a call. So we got people from all over. We got Canadians, <laughs> Americans, Dutch, Welsh, English. Pretty, pretty much from everywhere around. So. Uh, what have you made of the setup here this weekend? It's a pretty nice spongy pitch. It's a pretty nice spongy pitch. My knees, my knees hate it, but I love it. It's good. It's nice, nice pitch like this. You run quick and fall hard, so it's good. Yeah, it's fantastic. Lovely setup. Lovely setup. I had a good time. It's great time. And so, why did you choose to come to the Ibiza Tens? What was it about Ibiza? The weather, the pitch, the Tom, party? Tom, Tom said he paid for the entry. So we're like, well, there we are then. <laughs> now we have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you think you guys will be back next year? We, we'll probably be back next year, yeah, definitely. With more people, different people, definitely. Be good. We're going to make this a yearly thing. Okay, well, we, we hope to see you next year. Thanks very much for talking to us. Cheers. Cheers. So ready to go for the second half. Alan Liddington checks his watch and the Shredded Ducks kick off the second half. Well, it wasn't the best first touch, but uh, Wyvern Harlequins have got away with it, coming over to the shadow of the stand. Very conscious of getting it to their wide men. They've got big finishers, uh, and especially, of course, number 10, Kyle Evans, player of the season in the Welsh Premiership. Poor pass back inside on that occasion, and the knock forward will give Shredded Ducks the scrum. Big extravagant dummy, but at the end, uh, Justin James gets his man. Plenty of power there in the uh, Shredded Ducks team, and uh, seem to make more of an impression when they go the direct route, trying to batter their opponents into submission. Good attempt over the ball there to effect the takeover. Again, the direct route from Shredded Ducks. Holding on on the floor, so possession comes back. Quickly taken, quick penalty. Margit taking it up again, sets it up. Justin James. Back inside. That's the quick man, Kyle Evans. James Stubbs making good ground. Little chip forward. Should be a stroll in now. Yep, 
dummies to go inside, stops his man, goes over in the corner. That's number eight, uh, Justin James. An important second score. Opens that gap again to seven points. Difficult conversion to come. Oh, it's a great conversion from the right touchline. The wrong one for him. Really good effort, and uh, that puts them two scores clear. There's the dropout. Ashley Sutton it was with the conversion. Sutton again with the penalty. Decides to go for territory this time. They can feel they're close to securing a place in this elite final. Remember in this 10 aside competition, it's 10 minutes each way. Just going into the final quarter now. Five minutes. Be Jacob Flynn with the throw in. Good line out drill. Clean ball one. Chris Morgan's running around the the back to take the heck a nice little slip out of the tackle there. Again, good work from Ashley Sutton. But it all breaks down eventually. And the line out goes to Shredded Ducks. Again, Shreddy Ducks bludgeoning their way out of defense and uh, Leddington, the referee, says not rolling away from the tackle. Up to just inside Wyvern Harlequin's half. Shreddy Ducks, of course, desperately need this next score to stay in it, trailing 14-5. Replacements, rolling replacements, of course. Almost got away from uh, Chris Morgans, but he makes the tackle. Important boot in there. This could really work for the Wyvern Quins. In front of the kicker, says the referee. So pulls him back, it's a penalty for offside therefore to the shredded ducks. Must have been marginal that one.
going uh, for territory further trying to put it into the corner so a pressure situation big pressure situation for Wyvern Harlequins certainly haven't had it all their own way in this one appear to be in any, in any hurry knowing they've got two scores if I were in their situation I'd be rushing this one very anxious to get on with it because even a converted try won't be enough they've got to make two scores at least trying to get on the the driving ball stopped the first surge from the uh, Wyvern Quinns Back it comes again, and this time they are in. The Shredded Ducks managing uh, their second try. Two tries each now. This conversion is also going to be important. If he makes it, they're only a penalty kick behind, which he does. So they're within two points. It's 14-12 uh, to the Wyvern Harlequins. Again, going on the direct route, that's what served them best. But we are running out of time, so... The clock saying there's over 20 minutes gone. Referee saying he'd stopped his clock. He's the arbiter of time here. That's a very risky tap back from the Wyvern Harlequins. It's it worked for them fortunately but especially on uh, this sort of pitch it could have worked against them penalty that's a relieving penalty for the Harlequins and they'll take their time they've got this precious two-point lead they'll be anxious to hold on to and just run down the clock now put it to touch says Morgans and uh, Ed Howley Makes no mistake. The shredded Ducks players just checking with the referee how much time there is left. We don't know, it's in his hands. That's a nicely delivered from the top. And Chris Morgans knows the time, obviously chips it into touch, knowing that the next time the ball went dead, it would be the end of the game and that Wyvern Harlequins would be in the elite final. They've beaten Shredded Ducks 14 points to 12.